In 1995, we were the fastest growing microbrewery in the United States. There was a burgeoning craft movement in Texas. It was just kind of beginning to start, but it was sort of a false start. It didn't really catch. It was a kind of a heady time. There was a lot going on, and there was certainly some variances in quality. And then we just kind of had a desert for a little while. Craft brewing kind of petered out. We'd go in to sell our beers to accounts, and most of them would tell us, well, we have all the three beers, Bud Miller and Coors. Like, we hadn't had a new production brewery since, I can't even remember. And now we just have this shotgun of breweries starting up. Within the past two years, the number of microbreweries in Austin has more than doubled. There's a whole younger bunch of guys that have some good ideas and a lot of enthusiasm. There are so many things about Austin that make it a fantastic place to open a brewery. It's a fantastic place for craft beer just in general. The reason we chose to open up the brewery here in Austin is because the burgeoning craft beer market is just spreading like wildfire. Cheers. It is the local consumers. They want to drink local beer. They want to drink great local beer. It's just a reawakening of the beer culture, of knowing where your beer comes from. You know, all the breweries we talk to, their biggest problem is trying to increase capacity. The question is whether the market will grow as fast as the places open up. There's definitely competition for tap handles, so it's tough. <laughs> and I think the breweries that do survive and the ones that are kind of shaken out uh, will determine ultimately on the quality of the liquid that they're putting in the can. It's not competition, it's culture. Purely, everyone wins when good beer is being made. The biggest you know, hurdle right now, I'd say, facing Texas brewers is the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Code. You know, we're all kind of fighting with one hand behind our back here in, in Texas because of the laws. We've created this distinction between brew pubs and microbreweries, and that's ridiculous. It's an interesting process working with the legislatures, but I think as long as we keep pushing for it, one day our day will come. We're three to five years away at most before we become that next city where people travel here to taste the beers that we're producing. Austin is definitely poised to become the next destination for craft beer. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.